New fallout, new outrage tonight on a story we reported on last night here. Thousands of National Guard soldiers who were paid bonuses when they agreed to re-enlist, many of them going to war, now being asked to pay those bonuses back. ABC's Mary Bruce back on Capitol Hill tonight getting answers. Tonight, growing outrage. I'm bitter. I'm angry. And finger pointing. Another boneheaded decision by the Department of Defense. The problem starting in 2010 when the military learned of criminal fraud. A California National Guard official gave bonuses intended for highly skilled soldiers to others who did not qualify. Now it's the service members paying for that mistake. Like Susan Haley told to pay a $15,000 bonus back plus interest. We already have exhausted our savings. Haley and her husband served five decades between them. Their monthly payback to the Pentagon now $650. How do you tell your kids that you're not going to have money to go to see grandma at Christmas? And tonight, documents obtained by ABC News show Congress was informed of the bonus repayments two years ago but didn't act. This is not Congress's fault. This decision came from the, the Department of Defense and they were able to stop it then and they're able to stop it now. David, regardless of who is to blame, the Pentagon and Congress are determined to fix this problem. Lawmakers we spoke with are adamant about stopping these repayments and getting veterans their money back.